నాలుగు రాష్ట్రాలతో కలిసి తెలంగాణకు ఎన్నికలు నిర్వహించే అంశంపై ఇంకా నిర్ణయం తీసుకోలేదన్నారు చీఫ్ ఎలక్షన్ కమిషనర్ రావత్ ఎన్నికల తేదీలపై కేసీఆర్ తనతో మాట్లాడారన్న వ్యాఖ్యలు అవాస్తవమన్నారు భవిష్యత్లో జరగబోయే చర్యల ఆధారంగా ఈసీ నిర్ణయం తీసుకోదని స్పష్టం చేశారు ఏపీలో కలిసిన ఏడు మండలాల అంశంపై త్వరలోనే నిర్ణయం తీసుకుంటామంటున్న రావత్తో మఢిల్లీ బ్యూరో చీఫ్ కృష్ణ ఫేస్ టు ఫేస్ తెలంగాణ అసెంబ్లీ రద్దయింది తెలంగాణ అసెంబ్లీకి ఎప్పుడు ఎన్నికలు జరుగుతాయన్న దానిపై సర్వత్రా ఉత్కంఠత నెలకొంది అయితే తెలంగాణ అసెంబ్లీ ఎన్నికలపై ఎప్పుడు నిర్ణయం తీసుకోబోతున్నారు మిగతా నాలుగు రాష్ట్రాలతో కలిపే ఈ నిర్ణయం తీసుకుంటారా అన్నది మనతో వివరించడానికి ఎన్నికల ప్రధాన కమిషనర్ ఓపీ రావత్ గారు మనతో ఉన్నారు వారిని అడిగి మరిన్ని రాళ్ళు తీసుకున్నాం రావత్జీ నమస్తే సో తెలంగాణ అసెంబ్లీ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డిజాల్వ్ యు నో సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద నెక్స్ట్ కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ యాక్షన్ వెన్ డూ యూ టేక్ ఎ ఫైనల్ కాల్ Uh, actually election commission was informed yesterday in the evening by chief electoral officer of uh, telangana that notification has been issued dissolving telangana assembly commission immediately directed him to prepare a status report as to the level of preparedness in the state as well as uh, in uh, districts based on that status report commission will evaluate the level of preparedness and then take a call about scheduling the poll in telangana so uh, ex cm of uh, uh, telangana ksr while he was speaking to the media yesterday he told that he spoke to cec and uh, uh, it has been uh, finalized that uh, telangana assembly uh, elections also will be held along with other four states also is it true sir that is very wrong on his part to uh, announce uh, any dates or any program for elections in fact nobody except for the election commission should ever venture into that area because constitution and the law authorizes only the election commission to schedule poll and announce poll second thing meeting everyone listening to every stakeholder is our duty so we meet everyone like their ex chief secretary their chief secretary came to meet the commission commission met and heard them but commission can never commit in any hypothetical situation that if that happens we will do that it can never be said by the commission right now the assembly stands dissolved and therefore we are now in the process of evaluating preparedness and thereafter we will be making our making up our mind for scheduling the election but regarding to his astrology you are saying that it will be held in december and november and uh, along with this i said that it is very wrong on his part or anybody's part they should never say these things mm. it is the commission's prerogative to announce poll schedule and whenever it is decided we will announce in front of the media okay what are the parameters you will take while you uh, take a final call sir actually uh, in this respect we look for two things one is honorable supreme court's ruling in uh, special reference number 1 of 2002 when honorable supreme court has laid down that in case of premature dissolution of a house commission should endeavor to conduct election as soon as possible and in the first available opportunity but it should be completed before the expiry of 6 months of the dissolution that is binding on us second thing level of preparedness supreme court also said that do not delay for those 6 months in the name of some small little things because that will be giving time to caretaker government to take major decisions without having any accountability mechanism in place okay just uh, uh, as you are uh, quoting supreme court judgment so can you assume that you can go uh, along with this four states or you can go before even before that the, these four states we can go before we can go with that and we can do after that depending on the level of preparedness and the time required to conduct a free fair and credible election okay so uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, telangana there are two issues one is uh, regarding seven mandals uh, merged with andhra pradesh yes. so what do you do with that seven mandals did, did you denotify them what do you you have raised a very important question which most of the people have forgotten this is uh, with the home ministry and commission has been pursuing it for last few months and we have been told in fact day for yesterday we have been told that it is processed and it will soon come through so soon means how long it will take that they will be able to tell they have just assured us that it will soon be coming through but uh, what is the steps to be taken to not denotify and how much time it may take 
it should not take much time because it is pending with them for about uh, six months mm. now. So, so, so um, lot of time has gone in. Mm. So they must have completed their exercise. So what to be, what to be done, sir? Uh, seven mandals should be denotified and uh, new uh, uh, water list to be finalized. That is uh, what the law provided. That will be done. Mm. That will be notified, and accordingly, mm. the water list will be revised. So one more issue also is the electoral list, sir. Electoral list uh, should be finalized and uh, you have already issued a draft also. So they have to be finished by January 6th. So how do you take, uh, if you do before January, so which list you uh, give uh, a final, uh, a preference and uh, will you wait for uh, January 6th? Actually, we don't have any discretion in that. When, which, whatever year you hold election, the, an electoral roll which is finally published uh, with reference to 1st January of that year will be valid for that election. If we are in a position to deliver elections before 31st December 2018, then the electoral roll which was finalized with reference to 1118, that will be valid. If we schedule the elections in January or February, then the electoral roll which will be coming out of this is summary revision which is started on 1st September and finally published uh, on 4th of January 19, that will be valid. But the law doesn't prohibit election commission to defer this process in case we feel that we can deliver a free, fair and credible election before 31st December. But no issue, absolutely no issue with the electoral list? No issue. No issue. But uh, this, uh, regarding the seven mandal issues, it has to be sorted out? It has to be sorted out it, and uh, those uh, constituencies role has to be revised, keeping that into account. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Rawat ji. This is Rawat Gar Jepthunaru. I am going to talk about the four countries. I am going to talk about the four countries. But I am going to talk about the four countries. I am going to talk about the four countries. I am going to talk about the four countries. I am going to talk about the four countries. I am going to talk about the four countries. தெலங்கன ஆபத்தர்ம சியம் கேசியர் அசம்பலி ரத்து செச்ன தருவாதா நால்குர ஆஸ்டரால் தோ பாட்டே என்னிகலு ஜருகுதாயனி பிரக்டின்ஸ்டம் விவாதாஸ்பதம் அவுத்தோந்தி கேசியார் என்னிகலு எப்புடு ஜருகுதாயோ எலா பிரக்டிஸ்தாரனி அப்பியந்தரம் வியக்தும் செச்து சிப்பியை நேதலு என்னிகல சங்க CAC, OP रावत प्रक्टिंचारु, रेंडुवेल रेंडुलो, सुप्रीम कोर्ट्टु तीर्पु प्रकारं, असेंब्ली रद्धु चेसन आरु नलल लोपु एलेक्षिन्स निर्वहिंचाल सुन्दन्नारु मध्य प्रदेश, चतीसगैड, राजिस्तान, मिजोरम राष्ट्राल இப்படிக்க ஆய ராஸ்டலுக்கு சம்மந்தின்சி ஓடர்ல ஜாபிதால்னு ரெடி செய்துந்தி EVMலு VV PAT மேசின்லனு சித்தன் செய்குண்டோந்தி இக்க ஓச்சே நேலா மொதிட்டி வாரன்லோ செட்யுல் விடுதுலக்கா ஓச்சனி பிரச்சாரன் ஜருகுத்தோந்தி இலான்டி சமியன்லோ KCR தெலங்கன அசம்பலினி ரத்து செய்சி முந்தச்து என்னிகலக்கு மருவைப்பு கேந்திர என்னிகல சங்கம் காசியப்பட்டலோ சமாவிசம் அவுத்தோந்தி நால்குராஸ்டில் என்னிகலத்தோ பாட்டு தெலங்கன அசம்பலி என்னிகல நிர்வான அம்சம்பை சர்ச்சின்சியாவக்கச் முந்தி